Hi. If you joined me a little bit ago, Facebook is being dumb. Man, it's driving me crazy. I don't understand it. I don't understand anything about Facebook and the way they change things. Oh, I can see I got comments, but they're too far away. What am I stuck on? Surely. Okay. Hey, hey. It's Whiskey Wednesday. Who's got their whiskey ready? Connie does. Who's out there? Hopefully I got comments on. So I got something else. Oh, I'm good now. I got, they got this stars things in my way. Hey, Carolina, Caroline, Barbara, hello. I can't get rid of that thing. Lisa says I do. Beverly says howdy, Connie. Hello, hello. Oh, Facebook, you are Jack and Coke, yes. Sherry. Hello, Sherry. So, hey, hey, Johnny. Johnny Ray. Love that name. Carol. Hello. Yeah, if I could get rid of that other thing there. Hey, Marie. Marie Kennedy. I like that name. Has a nice ring to it. Hey, hey. It's Whiskey Wednesday. Anybody else ready for a Whiskey Wednesday? Hey, Mary, Grinker. Um, if you're new here, when it's Whiskey Wednesday, anytime, hey, Kelly, anytime I say DIY, we must all take a drink. This is just not a one girl deal. Wine Wednesday for you, all right. Yeah, this is not just a one girl deal. This is all of us. And tomorrow is Wilson's birthday, so he's really in on this whole Whiskey Wednesday deal. Is he drinking whiskey or beer? He's got whiskey tonight. He's normally a beer drinker, but he's got whiskey tonight. So, I'm doing this new thing. My painted or pictured items that I do on Wednesday, every other Wednesday, I fix them up. I put it on YouTube. I put them on my website for sale. <laughs> Carol says, happy birthday, Wilson. Um, I put them on my website and then I come back here on Whiskey Wednesday and I show you them um, for a lot longer so you can see them better because most of them are pretty darn cool. I am sitting really close to the heater, so hopefully that isn't too noisy. I'm in a different spot. Do you notice I'm in a different spot? So hopefully my my um, cellular is good over here on this side of the garage. I have breadboards right there. Three of them are right there. I have flowers over here. Blooms, boards and blooms tomorrow. Are you ready? Connie says, happy birthday, Wilson. He's having a drink to that. All right, so on Wilson's birthday, I'm having boards and blooms sale. I'm nervous. I'm getting a text message from work. I'm done with work. No more text messages from work. Breadboards, yes, Carol, breadboards. Uh-huh, right there. 
Lori says, happy birthday, Wilson. Thank you. Here it is, a little bit closer. This one's got some fun detail on the bottom. This one is my favorite. If it wasn't taller than my space in between my cabinets, Kelly says, happy birthday, Wilson. <laughs> if it wasn't taller than the space between my lower and my upper cabinets, I'd probably keep this one. Of course, you can use them as a tray on your table. So make sure before tomorrow night, you know what the size is if you want to stand it up in, on your countertop in your kitchen. So this one is awesome. I love this one. And the back. So they're all finished. This was my favorite. Lisa Stevens says, happy birthday, Wilson. This was my favorite, but that other one became my favorite. Mm -hmm. Kelly, they are good. So someone, Barbara said happy birthday. The one before that I missed, it went by too fast. I'll get them, I will read him all those comments after we go, after we're done going live. So anyway, this one's got a nice big old knot in it and then I added, yeah, I added that little detail on there just to hold that crack together. Backside does not have that. Yeah. My daughter Lynn was here on Sunday and I had one in my kitchen. And she goes in the house and she goes, my birthday's Sunday, I'll take this. Yeah, uh-huh, Carol, they are, they're all just amazing. So she said, my birthday's Sunday, I'll take this. Okay. And then she comes out to the garage and she gets two more. So she's like, I want these. So happy birthday, daughter. You got three cutting boards for your birthday. But they are, she was like, oh my God, oh my God. I gotta have them all. I gotta have them all. They're so cool. They are really cool. Anyway, let's get to um, the painted or pictured items. First one I have in front of me is this medallion. This is a metal medallion with the center part is resin. This one was that dark, it's like, like a dark, really, really dark brown. It's not quite black, but I painted it in beadboard and distressed it. It's pretty, pretty cool. What kind of paint? Oh. DIY paint. I forgot to tell you that. Okay. So there they are. There this one is. This one is. Um, this one's 10 bucks. That's it. I get a good, good deal at the thrift store. I get to pass the good deal on to you guys. So... 10 bucks for this medallion. If you're a local, you can just say local pickup and I'll deliver or meet you somewhere to deliver. Okay, next thing white is this candlestick. Remember this is a weapon. It's really, really heavy. It was black metal. I can't work again. Work notifications. Ah! Um, anyway, this was black metal and it's distressed just down to that black metal and it's really cool. So this is, this candlestick is 16 and a half inches tall. So it's tall. You can put anything you want on top of there, like this bird. Hey, Lynn. 
has a hole in him, but he goes a little crooked here. He doesn't have a hole in the center for that pokey thing there, but you can bust that pokey thing out if you want something to sit on there. Or you can put something on there that has a hole in it. Like, oh, Wilson didn't put the holes in the right spot for this one to sit on there. But anyway, this one would sit on there. So you can put anything you want down there. Um, uh, happy birthday, John. Uh, Connie Moore said, I saw the video where you painted those earlier today. Excellent. Lisa says, happy birthday, John. Okay, that candlestick was, is $13.50. And it's a weapon. Okay. Loved watching the video. Yeah, that, thanks. Thank, thank you so much. Those um, YouTube videos, I heard from two people today that they're not long enough. Like they want my YouTube videos to be longer. But I was taught to keep the YouTube videos short, like 10 minutes or less. So give me your opinion on the YouTube videos. Should they be 10 minutes long or should they be 30 minutes long or an hour long? What is it painted with, Lori? It is painted with DIY beadboard. So I had two people reach out to me today and tell me that my YouTube videos should be longer. And of course, I've been taught to have them 10 minutes or less, but my dad turned 90 yesterday and thank God he's well. Excellent, Lynn. My dad will turn 94 on Friday. It's my dad's birthday or John's birthday today. My, or Let's DIY this all over again. It's John's birthday tomorrow on the 25th, my dad's birthday on the 26th, and my daughter's birthday on the 27th. So if you are painting something longer, otherwise 15 minutes. Okay. And uh, I, I didn't even think of it. Like I was taught to do 15 minutes. But now that I'm doing my thrift hauls on there, when I watch a YouTube video, I watch them when I get ready in the morning. When you like it at least a half an hour videos. Okay, Kathy. Wendy says 15 minutes. Excellent. Thank you very much for these suggestions. I really, really appreciate it because I really want to know. Um, but when I'm getting ready for work in the morning, I turn on a YouTube video and I don't want to have to pick another YouTube video. Like I want one that's at least 45 minutes long so I can start it and I can finish it before I have to leave. So, and I don't have to find another one to start when I'm getting ready. So when she said, one gal said it should be 10 minutes or less. Happy birthday to all and at least um, 15 minutes at least. Okay. Um, so I don't want to have to start another one. So I'm thinking she might be right. So my next just paint it might be longer. <clears throat> Hopefully we're ready for that. Anyway, I didn't get this pot. This pot was one I painted last year. So this is painted with DIY paint. Um, 15 minutes. Okay. This is, um, painted with some really rough, Paint and it looks, hello, Catherine. It looks like concrete pot, really distressy. I put a succulent in there. This one's kind of nice and tall. And I put it in, I didn't want to plant right in this planter. I really liked this wood planter. So this was on my painted or pitch it. And uh, this um, wood planter is 650. It's seven inches in diameter and five and a half inches tall. So it's a nice size pot. And I was gonna plant right inside there, but I didn't want to plant inside there. So I planted in 
this part and then I just stuck it in here, which is also a good look. But this part is painted in DIY beadboard watered down with white paint. Or watered down with water. So I, is there a certain time tomorrow you post items for sale? Carol, I will be going live at six o'clock central time. So they won't be posted ahead of time. The ones I seem to watch are more than 20 minutes. Oh, excellent. So tomorrow I'll go live. How did you get the DIY paint rough? <laughs> hey, Elaine. Um, so tomorrow I'll go live at six o'clock central time and we will do the sale live. So nothing will be posted ahead of time. Hey, Heather, um, nothing will be posted ahead of time. It'll be for sale right on there. If you enter um, the number that I have associated with the item and sold, okay, four o'clock for you, yes. Um, if you enter the item sold and then I will invoice you after the sale is done. This DIY paint is rough because you can either add plaster of Paris to your paint, you can let your DIY, oh geez, paint sit out for a while till it gets hard. And then when you put it on, it'll go on really rough and you just leave it on really rough. Or you can add baking um, powder to it. Baking powder, baking soda. I don't remember which one. Or cornstarch. Any of those dry powdery ingredients you can just add to this. And then it'll make that paint nice and rough. And then when you go over it with another color, it just kind of skips. So that's how you get that rough. Which, <laughs> there was another. I need some glasses. Soda, baking soda. Thank you, Lynn. Will DIY paint stick to ceramics if you have to put something to help it stick? Catherine, no, it'll stick. It'll stick to anything. So this is baking soda. Thank you, Peggy. Um, baking soda. Thank you, Lynn. This is terracotta and it sticks right to it. You do not have to put anything on. The DIY paint will stick to anything. It sticks to glass, it sticks to metal. And when I show you the bird, I'll show you what you can do if it's not sticking very well or not covering very well. So anyway, this is that white washed wood planter. I like it. I like it a lot. It's, you gotta look at it closer. See it? You could have achieved the same look by white waxing that and not doing any painting to it whatsoever, just white waxing it. So you can get that white washed wood look by watered down white paint or white wax. Um, so I just have another couple succulents, a scraper in the video. Missed that one. Baking soda is a lot cheaper than salt wash. Using the scraper in the video with the new technique for a chippy look. Oh, yes. And the only reason I was using salt wash is because I have it. I bought it. I bet it's been at least four or five years ago and I just never, ever used it. So I'm using the salt wash to use it up. But you're right. Baking soda is a lot cheaper. Same type of look. So if you want that rough textured look, and I'm going to show you this one because I did it on my video. And you can use baking soda versus salt wash. And uh, I, the succulents, I bought a bunch of them at Walmart. They're $3.75 for the succulent. And uh, this just happened to be a wood bowl. So I had Wilson drill me some holes in the bottom of this wood bowl. You can get all kinds of these at the thrift store. So just paint them in fun colors. Put a succulent in it and put that on your patio table. So it's just, it's amazing. I just want a ton of these now. And I think I burned all my wood bowls because I was tired of looking at them. I don't know why I didn't think to plant in them before. I've used cornstarch. It thickens great. It 
thickens gravy. It works great. <laughs> it does thicken gravy. <laughs> I remember my mom thickening gravy with cornstarch. And um, yeah, I never, I never understood how to make gravy until I was a wife, had to make gravy. All right, here is a little decorative colander. And it has a faux sedum in it. So it's got a little bit of for floral foam in there. And then it's got some moss. And then it's got the faux sedum in there. And the reason I use the faux sedum is because there's just not a whole lot of space right here. Which it could have been planted with the sedum because they don't really need much soil or water. They're probably the easiest plant to grow. And, uh, um, but I wanted... I wanted the full succulent to be in there. So this one you can put in your house. It is really super cute. That one will fit right on top of there. And I also wanted to tell you that I referenced Upcycled by Brie in my YouTube video. So if you don't follow her YouTube videos, you really should. She's pretty amazing. And she's actually doing a live sale right now on YouTube at, right at the same time. It's her birthday. And anyway, she had told you how to grow succulents from like one of the leaves fall off. So like when one of these comes off, one of the petals comes off and just like by accident or you can pull it off on purpose. She put hers in a glass of water until roots grew. Well, with succulents, you can, this one fell off. You can just take it and stick it right in the dirt and it's gonna grow roots. So you don't have to fuss around with the water or anything, just stick it right in the dirt and it'll grow its own roots. That's succulents will do that. Like I can take off one of these, stick it in the ground and it's gonna grow a new plant. So any of these succulents, I'm gonna tell you a little secret. What we did when we, we would go on garden tours, my sisters and I, we'd go on garden tours and we'd see the sedum planted and we'd pick off a petal or two and stick them in our pocket, go home and stick them in dirt. We were so naughty. Don't do that. Mm -mm. That's naughty. Oh, anyway, this is, This is 650 on my website. So you can head on over there. I didn't tell you where it was. The painted photographer home decor.com. So if you want any of these items, they're already listed on there. <laughs> Shame on me. I know, right, Lisa? I don't do that anymore. But I always encourage people to do it by me. Except for my favorite sedum. I have a sedum I don't share with many. Um so here is a crock. It is missing its handle. I suppose I could find another one somewhere, but I don't mind it missing the handle. It just has these flowers put in it. It really is nice and clean now. It was really grody when I bought it. And then I also didn't realize until I washed it that it has a crack in it. Right there. But the crack doesn't go all the way through. I can feel it, but I can't see it on this side. So cracks are really popular right now. Since this one does have a crack in it, um, I have it listed for $8. That's gonna fall off my table. Okay. I asked on my Instagram if anybody could guess what color this was, and I had a lot of guesses, but nobody was correct. This was painted gold, and I painted it apothecary, and then I used DIY shipwreck wax. And put it in the creases. And this is all resin. This is not metal at all, so it could go on your wall. It could go as brilliant. <laughs> this could go as um, a tray. 
But yeah, it's got a really, my fingers don't look good in there, but it's got a really, really good look to it. Yeah, that apothecary and shipwreck. Good combo. Okay, my lantern. It is a nice finish, Tommy. Your apothecary looks like old 57. Or did I do old 57? No, I'm sure I did apothecary. Unless I'd have to go back and watch the video. Now you got me wondering. No, it's apothecary. I'm positive because this is old 57 and this is apothecary. So apothecary is down here, but when you put old 57 on the bird, yep. Um, when you put the shipwreck on the apothecary, it kind of gives it an old 57 look. Like that, it is pretty darn close. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Who doesn't love old 57, right? Should have that on everything. Okay, lantern. Big lantern. It was red. I painted it black and then I painted it white. I did spray paint this one. This is not DIY. My apothecary is very old green looking. It's very old green looking. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's kind of greenish gray for apothecary. I'd say yeah. I think I said DIY, but I'm not sure. If I didn't, I just got an extra drink, like I need it. Anyway, it? it's not my birthday. <laughs> this, it does have an LED candle in it. And it is screwed in there. Wilson did make sure that it worked. It's got an on off switch right here. So it, it flickers like a candle. So you can see it flickering right there. And then what I seen on Pinterest today, and I, and I washed all of the glass, all of the glasses washed. And what I seen on Pinterest today is you can fill like the bottom of it around the base of your candle with flowers. Or you can take the candle out and fill the whole thing with flowers. So this lantern is pretty cool. It is, let me give you a price of what I put it on my website for. Oh, there it is. It is 19.50. It is 19 inches tall and eight inches by eight inches. So it's a big one. It would look pretty cool on your patio table. No one's gonna miss it. All right, we're done with this half of the table. Now we're starting on this half of the table. Let's start out with this old 57 bird. So this, hey, Maggie, Melanie, Melanie. Hi, Melanie. I can't see, my phone's too far, far away. Hey, Melanie. Um, this bird started, started out as old 57 moss, I meant. Oh, fill it with moss, mm-hmm. Yeah, there's so many options. Like that is, that's a really nice lantern. A good lantern. Sold. Lantern. All right, Lisa. Hop on over to my website when we're done. Pop on over there and and snag it. Otherwise, I'll mark you down as sold to the lantern. Okay, this birdie was painted in old 57. I gotta get his true color there. And in the video, you've seen that he was, um, he was glazed ceramic. So he's really, really shiny. And my old 57 wasn't going over very well. I was afraid that it would just scrape right off. 
So I took the salt wash and mixed it with the paint. And then I gave him this textured look. Can you see that textured look? He looks um, concrete now and no longer like pottery. He looks like concrete. And then I painted him old 57 or I stippled him with the old 57 and the salt wash. And then I clear waxed him and white waxed him to bring out the details. He is super sweet. And then he's planted with a succulent. He would look really, really cute on a tray along with a little white dish. So, Yes, Elaine, he is super sweet. I do like him. I like him a lot. And I have another working now. Okay, since I showed you this, oh, that little birdie cute bird. Um, the little bird is, he's five inches tall, six inches wide, and he is 1250 because he also has this, the 375 sedum in him. So some of these I have to account for the sedum that's planted in, in them because I had to purchase that as well. So he's 1250 and he's so sweet. All right, here's this little white dish. And again, I have no idea why I like this white dish. But it looks like a flower. And it's small. If he stays here by me for Easter, he's going to get some jelly beans in him. And put on the table. But I just stuck this little um, plant in here. And you could put an air plant in here. Does anybody have air plants? I mean, that would be super sweet with an air plant in it because that's almost what this looks like is an air plant. But this one is a faux succulent. So he's just, he's got some moss stuck on the bottom end of him and I just set him in there. So this little bowl is $3. $3 for this cute little bowl. I just... I think it's just adorable. Okay. I had black bowls, black metal bowls. And this is another succulent that I stuck inside there. I distressed it to the black. That's very farmhouse. Um, that's too narrow have to envision this. So there's your tray on your table with your wood and that, that farmhouse look right there. And just wait for it. Here's the little bird. He can sit on there as well. And then up comes the little bowl. That might be a little bit much. I did put my little bunny here just for this reason. I got a little bunny sitting right there. So, looks like vintage enamelware. Oh, the, the pot now that I've distressed it. Yes, it does, Elaine. It does look like that. Um, so, that is super cute. That one has the succulent in it. It's all planted and he's ready to go. Those breadboards are amazing. And then I had two of those metal bowls. Oh, the metal bowls. 850 for that one because it has one succulent in it. This one has three succulents in it. So I had to ask a little bit more, but Look at that succulent garden. So there are three plants in there. And this one is painted old 57 and then painted pink on top of it. 
and then distressed back to that black, just for that little pop of color on your patio table or wherever you're gonna put it. And, and I also made it to match this colander. Remember this colander? It was painted ugly blue. And I washed it, I showed you on the video how I washed it, got all that paint off of it, and now it's vintage. It's, they're asking like 30 bucks for these, 30, 35 dollars for these on Etsy. So the reason I painted this pink is because since this was a little on the pricey side, I didn't want to plant in it. That was my plan, to plant in it. So I put the pink bowl inside there with the succulents planted in it. So the pink matches the pink flowers. So this pink bowl with the three succulents in it is... 1850. But again, there are three succulents in there. It's 1850. And then this colander, vintage colander that they ask about 30 to 35 dollars for. This is 1850. So this is a huge Etsy eBay item. And it's really, really shiny enamel. And uh, it's got a little bit of rust down here on the bottom and it has one dent, but that adds to the character of it. So these they're asking like 30 bucks for, and this one is 18.50. And it's beautiful. And you can put a succulent inside there. This vintage cheese grater. It doesn't have a name brand on, brand on it, so I don't think it's very, like it's not one of the old ones that they can get like 20, 25 bucks for them on Etsy. This one is, does not have that name brand on it. It does have some rust on it and I did um, fill it. Those flowers all come right out. They are not stuck in there or glued in there any way, shape, or form. They do stay in there, however, because they're packed inside there. And uh, so this is stuffed with peonies. This um, cheese grater is $15.50. So it's got the flowers in there too. Flowers are kind of um, washed out, but there's the look of the colors on the flowers. So this is super sweet. This would look really cute on your table. And one last thing, which is already sold, so you're not going to see this on my website, but this little Mr. Bunny, I did nothing to him. But he's so sweet and he's really really heavy he's made out of I think he's made out of concrete and he's extremely heavy and someone seen him when I posted him on my Facebook page and they messaged me asking if they could buy him so I do have him listed but only for that person you won't see that listing so he is out there and he's so cute I think that's it. Oh no, I had one more. This box where I did that distressing on my YouTube. So if you want to know how I made this box look really old, upcycled by Brie, by Brie, Brianna. Um, she said if we, if you weren't getting this farmhouse green, if you see this farmhouse green, you should be grabbing it because she's predicting that this farmhouse green is going to be a really hot color. So after she said that, okay, so I'll paint this box in DIYs aviary. I had already painted it in white. So then I took the putty knife and I showed you on the YouTube video how I took the putty knife and I distressed it using the putty knife. So now it looks like a really old carpenter's box. And then 
I'm obsessed by feet on a box. So these half circles that I use for my wreath, I'm going to glue down here on the bottom to put feet on it. Won't that be sweet? So I have four of them painted up. I did not get those feet on it. So I did not list this box yet. So this box is still out there. And then I just painted the inside with old school. So that is a DIY dark, dark gray. So this box will have feet on it. I know, Kelly, it turned out really, really cute. If you didn't watch the YouTube video to find out how I distressed this, you're going to have to do that because I was filming and I was thinking I was ruining it right on camera. But I really like it. Like, it took big chunks off. I didn't expect it to take that big of chunks off of it. But, like, this chunk missing right here, that's so old looking. That's so used. So my thought was if I wanted to put from the painterly floral, painterly, painterly florals, if I wanted to put lavender on it. I don't want to put sunflower on it. I want to, I was thinking lavender. I don't know if that green will show up. It has character now. It certainly does, Connie. So I think that's, there's two pages of lavender. I haven't found anything to put them on yet. So here's one page of lavender. My problem is, like see, this lavender is that tall and my box is that short. So I'd have to take off that much of my lavender. I don't, I'm not willing to do that. So this isn't a good option. <clears throat> Nix that idea. So it might stay as is, cause I really do like it. And I might just fill it with lavender, right? Okay. So what time are we at, Wilson? Quarter two. Oh, we're at quarter two. I did paint a bunny. Kind of, half painted a bunny. A bunny, he's not done. So start on the inside and have them fold over. Uh, mm -mm. Don't like that idea, Lisa. Sorry. Then they, when you look at the box, they'd be growing down. Check out L&J Goods. I just seen an L&J Goods and see what she did with the lavender transfer. She did that wreath one. I know, I already did check that out. I'll show you which one she used. She's amazing. I'm just saying, L&J Goods. Start from the bottom and go up. They're just too tall. They're too tall. There's not, you know what? I, I'm struggling with this transfer set here. Really struggling with the sizing. Yes, isn't it beautiful, that wreath? It is. So this is the wreath that she used in this transfer set. And then she added, to me it almost looks like I didn't watch the video. I should have. But to me, it almost looks like she took paint or ink and put it on her finger. Now, I could totally be wrong. And I probably am. But that's what it looks like to me. So here's the wreath that she used. And then she took paint or ink on her finger 
and put little dots all over so it looks like more flowers are coming outside that wreath. So it's like a spring wreath. Use that lavender that's inside those wreaths. I don't think that's lavender. Um, those might be violets, but that would be a good option. The only heart, I mean, yeah, you can cut that wreath apart, but you gotta cut two wreaths apart to get to them. You gotta cut through here, and you gotta cut through there to get that out. Didn't know that till now. You gotta cut through them, which is fine, because they'll be just fine. But these are like my babies, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna harm them. That's what I, that's why I think that I can't use them is because I don't want to use them up on something that I really am not sure about. So I just don't use them at all. Use an exacting knife, an exacto knife, Heather. Yes, I can. And I can use a scissors because the scissors is not going to hurt that whatsoever. I can cut right through that. And it's not going to, it's not going to hurt them, but they're my babies. I don't want to hurt them. I don't want to use them. I don't want to use them on the wrong project. Get over it, Connie. Okay. I'm making room for us to quickly spell check. That's okay, Heather. I knew what you meant. We're going to use some DIY paint. And I'm going to show you how I drew this bunny. And then I'm going to finish them. Because we don't have that much time for me to paint one from the beginning. Okay, I did this one already. So how I painted this bunny is I just took and made an oval. Kind of egg shapey. And then he's got his body here. He's got his nose. And then he's got an ear that goes this way. And then he's got an ear that comes over here, flaps down and goes that way. We might need bigger jowls. Okay, we might have some time to get him finished. So let's go in with, oh. I have a dirty white over here. We're gonna go in with some, I have an order for 12 of my drop cloth bags. My, I told my sister tonight that I needed 12 bags made. And she said, oh, those are gonna take me a while. She just sent me a text, they're done. Do you want me to put them in your car tomorrow? Okay, so this is Gravel Road. So that's kind of like a Hershey's Kiss kind of shape. 
You can make it a bit more rounded if you want. Not quite so square on the bottom. And I'm gonna put some white in there, lightening them up just a bit. I haven't done this with you guys in forever. Have I? I didn't want him solid gray. I wanted him a little white too. I don't know why I'm painting a bunny because Easter is not that far away. Somebody's gonna wanna buy this bunny right away. Otherwise, what am I gonna do with him? All right, pointy ears. Going in with a little white. The other side, did I lose you all out there? Okay, then this one dips down. So you're just gonna make the point of his ear fold over. So you do the same thing, you go up like his ear is pointed like this, okay? And then uh, you just bring that point down like this. Making him, nope, just enthralled. Excellent, Elaine. Okay. I'm all about adding the layers on to painting, so going back and forth on it is really not a problem. Just keep going back and forth on it. All that does is add layers. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna darken this part of his ear up because you really want that to look like it's folded over, flipped over. See, I just flipped it over. Now, I'm gonna go in with some petticoat pink. I'm gonna give him a little pink on his cheek. Thanks, Lisa. And then he needs a little pink on his ear up here. That pink is what really gets that fold on his ear to fold over, you see that? Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with the vintage linen and he's gonna get his little snout. Got a little carried away right here. Let me wipe some of that off. His nose went too far down his body. 
So I just wiped it off. That's a good thing about DIY paint. You just wipe it off. Okay, we're almost to the, the same point, right? Now I'm going in with a little black dress. Hopefully I can get his eyes with this brush. His eyes are like below his ears. And then they bubble out beyond his head. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of white. Take off my black. If you add a little bit of white, you can make that eyeball appear round versus just flat black. So your brush stroke is going to mimic that look. So now we're going to do the same thing over here. Try and get them the same. I paint so differently than when I used to. I used to, <laughs> I don't know how I painted before, but I definitely have changed my painting style. All thanks to Anissa from this and that. I might not do the things that she paints, but she certainly teaches me a lot. Then we're gonna go with his little nose right here. <coughs> okay. He's gonna get cuter, I promise. All right. Goodness, she has her own style and so does Kristen. Uh-huh, yep. Y'all gotta find your own style. You can't, you can watch them and you can learn from them, but you can't do what they do. You always continue to black to make it look a bit whimsical. I'm going in with black right now. That's me. That's my style. Okay, so we gotta water down this black first. I'm gonna push that one aside. And uh, this is my long brush. And I'm gonna go and get that black paint, that DIY black paint. My drink's almost gone. And if any of you filled up during this live, you didn't tell me it was time for a refill. Okay. Here's the black. I had someone who I consider to be pretty darn famous in this art world, in this furniture art world. She sent me a Facebook message today and she said, I just want you to know I love your work. I love 
how you do things. And I was just, just thinking about you and thought I needed to tell you. That was the sweetest thing ever. Because sometimes you think that you're not even noticed. But you are. All right. It is, Heather. She made my day. I was eating my lunch in the park, working on deleting my videos off my phone that I no longer needed because I um, put my YouTube video out there. So I was getting rid of my videos on my phone so I don't take up too much space. Is he not turning out cute? Look at him just right before your eyes. All right, <laughs> he is cute, Tammy. Okay, that's one. Now the only thing we need with that one is we need a touch of white paint. Thank you, Tammy. I need a touch of white paint to give him some catch lights in his eyes. see them. Some of my favorites are your pumpkins, sunflowers, birds, and patriotic. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everybody. He is turning out cute. Let's do this one, too. I got you here. Let's just do this one. I can try and sell them tomorrow night on my live, right? See if anybody wants a bunny before Easter. There's no method to my lining. I just scribble. It's something a lot of people have a hard time doing because they're just not loose enough. I'm probably too loose. <laughs> Oh, I forgot whiskers. I've, I did, I didn't forget whiskey, but I did forget whiskers. He maybe needs flowers down here on him as well. Let's add some whiskers. <laughs> this one needs some whiskers.
You need to go beyond his or her. The outside of his, her head. And then uh, they always have these like dots where their whiskers are coming out of. So we're gonna put some dots in there. I might have to put some flowers down there. Not on this one, but now I need my white. What did I do with it? Right here. I need to make the catch lights in the eyes. And then one on the nose. Nose here. Okay, that's your bunny. <laughs> That's a quick and dirty bunny. All right. Thanks for joining. Woo! He's kind of scary. That's a quick and dirty bunny. Okay. Thanks, everybody. I'm having my live sale tomorrow night. Six o'clock. Central time, right here. On the Painted Photographer Facebook page. And I'm doing boards and blooms. So all kinds of blooms, all kinds of boards, all kinds of everything. If you're available to watch tomorrow night, just come and say hi. You don't have to buy a thing. You don't have to buy anything. Just come and say hi and just hang out with me for one more night on Wilson's birthday. So tonight's Whiskey Wednesday and it's DIY. And you all have a good night. See you tomorrow.